My final message here is if the government has the capability to protect us all, surely they can track our GPS signals in this weekend's good weather. Well, they need to get permission to do that. They can't do it as the law stands. Although that was what was used in South Korea to, uh, once they tested, they could isolate and then they could find other people who'd been close to the infected person. But that does, you know, we, 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 we've got some limits here on freedom as well. Be sensible. I will be rejoining you from inside on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. At 10 tonight is Nick Abbott. Next, also in Brandon Pierce, it's Ian Dale. Thanks, Nigel. I'm in for Andrew Pierce again tonight. Andrew's on the mend and will hopefully be back next week. Tonight, I want to get back to what LBC is all about, you. Like last Friday night, we're going to spend the next three hours taking your calls. Unless there's some massive breaking news story, I'm not intending to speak to a single politician, medic or guest. All I want to do is hear from you on any aspect of the coronavirus. Oh, and there's a small matter of the Labour Party electing a new leader tomorrow morning as well. We can talk about that too, if you want to, but only if you want to. So for the next three hours, lean back, keep calm, pick up the phone, I'll be waiting. tempting to go out and enjoy those summer rays. But please, I ask you to remember Amy and Arima. Please, stay at home for them. At today's Downing Street briefing, the Health Secretary said the UK is conducting world-leading clinical trials into treatments for coronavirus. They will look at whether existing drugs and steroids can be repurposed for COVID-19 patients. Matt Hancock said they will take place at GP surgeries, hospitals and critical care units. We need more patients to volunteer to be part of these trials because the bigger the trials, the better the data and the faster we can roll out the treatments if and only if it's proven to work. These treatments will help us as the science develops. But for now, the only way to protect yourself and your family from this disease is to stay at home. 684 more people have died in hospital across the UK after contracting coronavirus. The total number of confirmed deaths is now 3,605. In Spain, there's been a fall in the daily death toll for the first time in a week. 11,000 people have died there in total. Italy has recorded another 766 deaths to reach a total of 14,681. Earlier, the Prince of Wales used a video link to open the first temporary Nightingale Hospital in East London. In this dark time, this place will be a shining light. It is symbolic of the selfless care and emergency service taking place in innumerable settings with countless individuals throughout the United Kingdom. The unit in the Excel Centre will eventually have the capacity to host 4,000 patients. The Queen is to address the nation and the Commonwealth on Sunday evening. In the city, the FTSE 100 closed down 65 points at 54.15. The pound buys $1.23 and €1.14. And the weather, rain and hill snow in Scotland tonight, mostly dry elsewhere with clear spells and a low of 2 degrees. Most places will be dry tomorrow with patchy sunshine, windy in the west and a high of 15 degrees. But as we've heard, the government is insisting that despite the normal weather, we should stay home this weekend. From Global's Newsroom, you're up to date. shift tonight. Andrew Pierce is off. We hope he'll be back next week. You've probably seen on Twitter that he has had coronavirus and is recovering from it. I think anybody that has gone through it, okay, some people have it um, more strongly than others. Matt Hancock, he clearly had it. He's back at work. 
And the Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, is, well, he is at work, but he's put out um, a video message today.